Hello everyone, welcome to another session for Know Your Exam series from Shomus Biology. And in this all session of videos, we are going to talk about different exams which are important for your career. And we are talking about the exams date and obviously other important information regarding the exam with the exam pattern. As well as at the end, I always provide exam preparation tips. So stay tuned and watch the video. <laughs> Okay, Pips Pilani is uh, one of the very prestigious exam and it is well equivalent to JE although the number of seats are limited compared to JE which is huge number of seats but it is conducted by Billa Institute of Technology and Science and there are several different branches uh, naming in Pilani, Goa, Hyderabad and one in Dubai and all the facilities all the all the branches have international level facilities very well equipped classrooms and practical facilities as well as they have a very strong side of uh, good faculties that's why bits pilani is very famous so that's the reason bits pilani conduct their own exam they don't rely on je for uh, the students to join there so they conduct their own exam uh, for the same process but there is a fundamental difference between the je exam and bits pilani exam so in this video we are morely interested on the Bits Pilani in terms of uh, the biosciences students and actually Bits Pilani is conducted after plus two so that a person can join a well equipped institute for BE or B farm degrees so Bachelor of uh, Engineering so BTEC in different subjects uh, including biotechnology as well as B farm subjects the exam is usually, usually conducted in May, the month of May and uh, the notification will come like one half month, two months before that. The eligibility criteria says it, it's a tough eligibility criteria for applying for a Pits Pilani itself uh, while JE is a little easier. It says approximately 75% aggregate and sometimes it also considered as 80% aggregate uh, in physics, chemistry and mathematics slash biology. Uh, biology will all be, uh, only be considered if you are opting for B farm and you need to score 60% in each of the subjects separately. So no matter what it is, you need to have these four subjects in your quiver that is physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics and you also need to score 60% independently and 80% all total. That's the eligibility criteria to appear for Pits Pilani exam. The exam structure of Bits Pilani is fairly simple. It's only 150 questions. And the total marks is 450, carrying 3 marks for each question. So it's 150 questions, 3 marks is 450. But the time given here is less. It's only 3 hours. So 3 hours for 450 marks questions. Although the questions, uh, it's, it is 3 marks question, but it's not that big enough like the other exams, 3-4 marks question. So it's like very short answer type question, most of it. So this question will be shorter, but trickier. While in contrast with JE, the questions are, some part of the questions are bigger as well. So these are trickier, but short questions, not direct questions anyway. The marking scheme uh, comes like uh, the question paper is divided into four different sections. Section 1 is physics with 40 questions, section 2 chemistry 40 questions, section 3 English and logical reasoning with 15 and 10 questions respectively and section 4 mathematics or biology whatever you choose depending upon which subject you are going to take afterwards with 45 questions each question of 3 marks and a negative marking of 1 mark. So one out of uh, three one third that's the negative marking for this exam now the question is as it has 150 question huge number of question to answer in three uh, three hours that means in every hour you need to answer 50 questions and which is not going to be a very easy job although in these four sections you know that english and logical reasoning play an important role which part is very common to all of all of uh, the aspirants for this exam okay so you need to focus uh, your idea a little bit on an understanding English better way or the logical reasoning in a better way which is unique about Bits Pilani which is not present in JE exam. The cutoff procedure, 
the cutoff procedure in this case uh, for bee farm is approximately 240 which is far less uh, for MSc in biological sciences any other field in the MSc biological sciences will be more than 300 and actually if you want to think yourself like you are you are going to get the best branch in bits uh, pilani after the exam qualification you should score more than 320 320 and above 320 consider as very good score and above 350 is considered as one of the best scores and you'll be probably getting scholarship uh, for different uh, schemes from there total number of seats uh, for beats pilani is approximately 2000 so which is comparatively with uh, the net uh, like je with compared with the je it's it's good the 2000 seats out there and it's divided into different branches and then will be provided to those branches for their corresponding uh, study so the difficulty range uh, this is this exam is difficult it is not an easy exam i told earlier that iit jam is comparatively easier i uh, get biotechnology is comparatively easier but bits pilani is difficult the questions are trickier there is not a single flat question you will get all those questions will be trickier and although this is very small but it will require you to analyze the question and answer even the english and reasoning part english and logical reasoning part that also that never require any kind of numerical uh, aptitude uh, to solve but still those part will be analytical to answer so yes it is high difficulty but the question they ask mostly from the ncrt syllabus so ncrt books will be uh, your bible to study uh, bits pilani that that should be the case well exam fees is little higher compared to the other competitive exams uh, in this case 2750 for male candidates and 2250 500 rupees relaxation for a female candidate now as we know bits pilani also have a branch in the dubai so if someone is going joining from there from dubai uh, the charge will be 4000 for both male and female candidates there is no relaxation to female in that case so to talk about the tips and preparation guidance for bits pilani exam uh, you need to do a lot of hard work while you're preparing for plus two you need to do a lot of hard work even more than iit jam that we're thinking of because IIT gem or even more than uh, the gate biotechnology that that we have discussed earlier because in this case during the plus two level preparation you should always prepare from the NCRT books and NCRT books should be your proper guidance and that should be the standard from where the questions will be there but remember the NCRT books uh, there are a few questions which are flat but they mostly ask questions from the theoretical aspect of NCRT books modify those concepts and make the questions trickier uh, from different angles and they will ask questions from those regions so you need to prepare uh, in a better manner from NCRT books and actually uh, those are the topics that they ask although they provide a separate syllabus you can check the syllabus there are a few things from the NCRT books that they, they don't include in that syllabus and if you compare JE syllabus with Bits Pilani syllabus you'll find it little difference uh, but mostly focus on few of the topics uh, which they mention in the syllabus and even if you compare the syllabus you can see actually in bits pilani the exam syllabus is comparatively less uh, with that of the jee uh, and this syllabus carries most vital topics uh, from the jee syllabus so someone is preparing for both jee as well as bits pilani because most of the students are preparing both at the same time because they're preparing uh, the same subjects along so in that case I'll, I'll tell you like you first prepare in terms of JE you prepare all the subjects and, and select the bits pilani subject separately which are the most vital one and then start preparing them first so start selecting those topic which is common in bits pilani as well as in JE and start preparing them faster gain a good knowledge good grasp of those topics and concepts try to solve question papers so you know you need to rely on the last uh, few papers of question papers of bits okay uh, and along with that la last few question papers of bits pilani you can also focus on uh, the other competitive exam question papers and arihant uh, arihant uh, scheme of whole set of papers and package is really good for the preparation of bits pilani that you can also uh, go for that you can also do for the preparation of this study and remember one thing as this exam uh, carries like 150 question to answer them in three hours it's not going to be easy during the exam hall so it's going to taste a lot of your time management skills so you need to prepare a lot of tests uh, on your house so if you're preparing yourself 
from the Aryan package or from, from any other good books and packages, you need to practice answering questions a lot to finish it in time. So it's better if you can attain any kind of mock test, the online mock test conduct, conducted similar that of uh, the Bits Pilani so that you can check yourself and how you're preparing and, and, and the degree of the preparation going on for that. That's another important thing that you should do uh, before Bits Pilani exam. And uh, remember another thing is that uh, especially the chemistry, uh, you don't need any other book to read except for the NCRT book for chemistry because they literally give the same question from the chemistry book from the NCRT book directly. Uh, another piece of advice where you're preparing for Bits Pilani is taking the English and the logical reasoning lightly. Don't do that because you know English and logical reasoning they'll also ask questions from 15 and uh, 10 marks so it's approximately like uh, 25 30 marks of the questions out there and you know these two things they don't need much of a time to prepare so if you are good enough to read things your vocabulary uh, you read a regular newspaper english newspaper and stuff like that you probably do well in this part and you don't need to devote and learn a lot of the things and devote a lot of time to prepare that and another thing during the exam you don't need to do any rough or do anything in the in the paper to answer these questions right these are only they require only simple analysis and you can easily answer those questions so also, always try to answer all the questions from this part of English and uh, the reasoning part which will be a uh, lot easier to answer. Now another bit of uh, advice is while you are going for the preparation and answering the question in actual exam of Bits Pilani, you will find yourself that the math, uh, there are a lot of math questions and they need uh, the write up and not only math question in most of the physics and math question you need to write things and as well as chemistry question because there will be a lot of numericals. So you need to solve those numericals. While you're solving those new numericals, you may need rough pages. And the page that they provide with the question paper may not be sufficient. So you need to make yourself habituated to, to write things in very small uh, places so that you can complete the rough in the provided page. This is really important. Otherwise, you can see you don't find a page to rough, uh, to, to do, do the rough work. So that will be a problem uh, situation because you cannot ask for any extra pages during the exam. Okay. So that in a sense is the piece of advice. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that. And obviously share this video as much as you can to the social network so that other people know about the exam before taking it.